Hello everyone and welcome back to another an amazing chess game between Bobby Fischer and Raymond Weinstein. This chess game happened in the United States Chess Championship in 1963-1964. Bobby Fischer won this championship, so this game happened in 1963 in December 28 in New York. So Bobby Fischer's opponent Raymond Weinstein was United States Junior Chess Champion and he represented the United States at the Chess Olympiads but unfortunately he has a disturbing story. He was a convicted murderer. He killed his roommate and he spent rest of his life in a mental asylum. So he lost his mind and he was actually a mentally, seriously mentally unstable. He had serious mental issues and he was actually a strong chess player but unfortunately he was basically crazy. So that's the disturbing story of Raymond Weinstein. So he actually uh, murdered his roommate in 1963 at this year uh, when this uh, when this chess game happened. Uh, okay, so Bobby Fischer has the white pieces and his opponent Weinstein has the black pieces. Bobby Fischer easily won the United States Chess Championship uh, in this year very easily. He was by far the best chess player. So let's see what happened in this chess game. e4, e5, knight to f3, knight to c6 and we have the Spanish game. Nothing out of the ordinary so far. So both players are developing d6 and h3, knight to a5, defending the bishop, c5. Bobby Fischer is charging the center, exchanging the pawns and then d5. So it looks like black's bishop is not very good. Bishop, as you can see, is stuck and it fires uh, d5. Basically, this diagonal is closed for the bishop. Bishop goes back, so uh, black is having difficulties with his <coughs> uh, black is having difficulties with his bishop. So Bobby Fischer is developing the knight g6, kicking the knight back, and Bobby Fischer is charging from the queen side. Bishop to d7 and Fischer is opening the a file, but this is actually giving the a file for Fischer to Fischer. So what would you do in this position? Uh, how white gets the a file in this position? Can you see how? It is very simple, lifting to rook and then rook to a3 and basically Bobby Fischer has the open file which is very important. Queen to c7 and then knight to b3, knight to h5, bishop to d3. Now Bobby Fischer is targeting the b pawn. So queen to f1 and Fischer is attacking the b pawn. Knight goes back. So if capturing the b pawn, capturing the e pawn with the knight. Attacking the aggressor by Bobby Fischer. Rook over, rook in and then queen back. But now queen is getting in and the knight is under attack, defending. And now Bobby Fischer has a very strong move in this position. You can see that black is defensive. Black is always moving his queen and black is helpless. Fischer has the better position and in this position white has a winning move. What would you do in this position? Maybe bishop takes on b5 comes to mind. Then bishop takes bishop, queen takes bishop and black has a discover attack. Knight to c5. So maybe black has some compensation, maybe. But in this position, white has a winning move. If I have to give you, let's say, 3 uh, to 5 seconds or something, can you guess the next move of white? So your time is starting from now. What would you do? 1, 2, and 3. I think this is enough. If you want, you can also pause the video. It is white to move and win. Bobby Fischer played knight. Knight takes on e5. This is the move and what, what else? Black captured the knight but this opened the 6th rank for the queen liberating the queen and white is getting a pawn. Queen takes on f6 and white is a pawn up but now we have queen to c3 forking two pieces also the b pawn is weak. Fischer is, is easily defending this is attacking the bishop and defending the bishop. So knight takes on c5 pawn takes knight 
And if queen takes bishop, then rook takes bishop, and also white has two connected pass pawns in the center, and it looks very dangerous for black, so defending the bishop, Fisher is defending the bishop, and black captured the pawn, attacking the rook. So defending, but also the e pawn is looking weak, and Bobby Fisher's pass d pawn is a very fast pawn, much faster than black's b pawn. And also white has this alternative, bishop, to d3 and defending on b1 so this position favors for white b4 d6 by bobby fisher and weinstein realized that actually pushing the b pawn doesn't work so this is why he played queen to b6 but in this position let's say pushing the pawn who is faster of course white because we have d7 let's say b2 there is only one move left of course uh, if bishop takes pawn, then queen takes on f7, and then black is getting checkmated. So b2, and then capturing, check, mate, or queen to h7, checkmate, there is no sensible defense. And in this position, you might ask what happens if queen to c6, so this is also defending bishop to c4, but then f4, this is a very strong move for white. And after f4, actually there is no sensible defense, even if you take the pawn, then e pawn is marching. So pushing the pawn right on time. If black promotes the queen, this is a very interesting line, then e takes on f7. If king over, then queen to h8 is going to be checkmate. So bishop takes on f7, queen takes bishop, black has two queens, but black is getting checkmated. So white is very quick and there is nothing you can do in this position. So after d6, Raymond Weinstein played queen to b6, but you can see that actually white has a winning move in this position. And after that move, black resigned. Guess the next move of Bobby Fischer, what would you do if you had the white pieces? So let me give you a couple of seconds. It's a very simple move actually. Well, Fisher simply played bishop to c4 and black resigned. There is no sensible defense against bishop takes on f7. So if b3, actually there is no defense, then bishop takes on f7. And black is getting checkmated and there is no defense. So this was the move by Bobby Fisher. Uh, this is the move, bishop to c4 and Weinstein resigned. So this was a pretty nice instructive chess game of Bobby Fischer against his opponent. And I hope you have enjoyed watching this chess game. And I hope to see you next time. So take care and bye bye.